we still have this uh, very Eurocentric view of Africa, this very m white male Eurocentric view of the world, which is, that's why we are so in this mess that we are right, right now. Eu vou sozinho, meu comandante. Deixe-me provar que eu posso ser um soldado de valor. Eu trago a guerra no pensamento e a pátria no coração. <risos> e onde é que ouviste esses versos? Caramba! O mosquito is about a, it's a story about a, a young boy who really wants to help his country and uh, and to fight the Germans in during the First World War. He's uh, sent it to Mozambique, to Africa. He's left behind by his platoon, so he starts a, a, a journey, a, a lonely quest to find his platoon and to find the war that he wants to fight. I, I didn't want to entertain. I wanted to confront. We think we are liberated right now, but we are not. We still uh, make the same mistakes, and we think we still uh, have a mentality based in a narrative that was built by our colonial past. It has been a struggle to film this. To be able to, to shoot it, we had to delay it many times because of uh, conflicts in Mozambique. Of, uh, uh, we have, I had to change locations. Uh, I had to, you know, it was I had to rewrite the, the script. And now that I finished after eight years to have this screening, like opening a festival like Rotterdam, it's just uh, you know, it's like okay, it's it it was worth of it, you know. It fascinated me uh, since I was a kid that I, I listened to this uh, story about my grandfather, who I never knew because when I was born he was uh, uh, already um, passed away for a long time. But he was this figure in our family, this patriarch, you know, that he walked, he crossed Mozambique, this huge terri territory alone during the First World War. What fascinated me was what happened during this journey that made this young boy, he was like 17 years old and when this happened. He came from the north of Portugal and he was sent to Africa, you know, in a territory at that time full of dangers and uh, wild beasts and, you know, enemies and uh, hostile tribes. And uh, what happened, because it, it has had to be, at the same time, uh, uh, terrible and fascinating, because he stayed there. And because he stayed, my father was born there and I was born there. So I needed to understand what happened there. 